This is Cooking Level, a show where we take off our armor, sheath our swords, put on our chef's hats to explore the wonderful world of culinary arts. My name is Frontier Setter, and I welcome you to join me on this adventure in RL. How's it going everyone? Welcome to Cooking Level. Today we're going to be cooking some low-level RuneScape recipes. So one of the first things that you start cooking in RuneScape is actually shrimp. But I figured shrimp isn't enough because shrimp by itself is pretty simple already. So we're also going to add some baked salmon to this recipe. Shrimp and salmon are among one of the first things that you cook in RuneScape because they're both generally pretty low level and they're really easy to make because they only require one ingredient, which is shrimp and salmon. Now my cooking level in real life is like a one, so that's my disclaimer. Uh, please take with a grain of salt what I do. This is kind of just for fun and I'm hoping to increase my cooking level in real life as well. So let's get on to the ingredients. We've got some frozen shrimp and some frozen salmon fillets. Also gonna need some salt and pepper, butter, garlic powder, tartar sauce, and lemons. You're obviously gonna need a stove along with some heavy duty tin foil, a pan, and one of these, uh, one of these things. First off, we need to preheat our oven. We're gonna go with 420 degrees, 420 blaze it. And while that's preheating, it gives us time to work on our little pan here for our salmon. We are going to cook our salmon first, and while it's baking, we can work on our shrimp. We want enough to be able to put all this uh, salmon in here with the sauce and cover it up. So, maybe something like, maybe something like that, then we kinda scoop it over or something. I, I don't know. So here are the salmon fillets that I bought, and these are frozen, and we are going to cook them frozen. Uh, I don't know if I want to cook all of them, but it doesn't seem like too much meat to me. It's only like four fillets here. Get a little knife here and kind of do one of those. The reason I'm cooking these frozen is because it's kind of like, oh, what if you need to cook something, but you don't have time? Uh, this just makes it easier. It's all about being easy. This is just level one cooking after all. Although I think in RuneScape, salmon's like level 40 or 30, something like that. It's kind of like Tetris, you know, you gotta kind of spin the pieces around. So we have our salmon in this pan thing, and now we need to make some melted butter, and the easiest way to make that is to grab some butter, right here, and we'll grab a cup. Let's grab one here. Okay, so for this, we're gonna go with, whoops, butter's crazy. We need four tablespoons of butter in the cup, and we are gonna throw this into the microwave. I don't know, maybe for like, I don't know, two minutes or something? That should be pretty good. So these lemons are gonna help spice up our seafood, give it some tang. Maybe get two of these out, there we go. So one of them is gonna be for the shrimp, one of them is gonna be for the salmon. And I'm just gonna coat the bottom of the pan first with some of this butter here. Cover it kinda all over. The butter smells great though. I am going to uh, season it with some salt. I don't think you need too much. And we'll grind some pepper on there too. We got a nicely cut in half lemon, and I'm just gonna kinda squeeze this. It might be too sour, I have no idea. Kind of gently bring up the sides here. Get this nice and covered up. So the plan is to cook this for about 15 minutes covered, and then depending on how it goes, maybe another 10 minutes uncovered, just because this is a frozen, frozen thing here. So, that was, that was kinda, Decent, maybe. <laughs> and because the oven is still in its preheating stage, let's just start on our shrimp. So these are also frozen. I'm just gonna defrost these really quick with some lukewarm water. Oh geez, this is gonna be kind of a big meal, I think. Don't use hot water, because it'll cook it, but I've done that before too, but I don't really care. Like I said, level wood chef. All right, finally our oven has hit 420, so we are going to set this into blaze. Medium rack is fine, close that up. And we're gonna set this timer for around 15 minutes. And we'll check back on that after we finish our shrimp. So our shrimp has somewhat thawed and now we have to remove the shells. And it's pretty simple if they're thawed, you just basically just peel them off like this, I think. And you can leave the tails on if you want, you don't have to. I'm gonna take the tails off. I'm gonna put this, uh, I gotta put this somewhere, hold on. Boop. And I'll do that with all these two. Like I said before, my cooking level is not that great. So I'm sure someone in the comments will be like, what the hell are you doing, kid? I'll be like, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just trying to get better at cooking, and the only way to get better at things is to like do them, right? So that's what we're doing here. And I don't want to cook these too early because shrimp does not take long to cook, and you can easily 
overcook it, which makes it taste kind of rubbery and just overall unpleasant. Get our good old pan here, and we're gonna butter this pan up uh, when it gets hot. We get the rest of our seasonings here. We have our salts, garlic powder, and that lemon that we were using before. We're gonna use that to uh, do all that. And I am terrible at this, let me tell you. Look at that. Butter, butter, butter. Love me some butter. Let's throw our shrimp in. Getting that gall in here. Sprinkle some of this lemon in here. That could be too much. This could be a very sour meal. Some salt in there too. Not too much because it's already kind of salty. Try some more pepper. Pepper pig. And then we'll put some garlic powder in there. You can see it's already starting to change color here. At first it's a kind of see-through. It turns white. So just make sure it's cooked through. This is smelling pretty freaking good, let me tell you. Woo! Leave no shrimp unturned. The pan is still at hot, so maybe I'll just turn down the heat a bit. I don't know. Cooking this for about four minutes. Let's try a small piece here. Whoop! Ah! Okay, let's see how this tastes. Dang, that is freaking delicious! It's delicious! Oh my god! All right, let's put these on this plate here. Oh, there we go. That's our shrimp. Let's see how it's, it's in there. It's still in there. It hasn't set on fire yet. All right, looks like the salmon is done. Where did I put the, the oven mitts? Oh gosh. And uh, maybe I should get a fork or something. Ooh, look at our salmon. A lot of juices have come out of the salmon, and it looks like it is not even close to being done. We are gonna cook this now, uncovered, for another 15 minutes. Back into the oven you go! That is done. Let's see if it flakes apart now. Oh yeah, that's pretty flaky. All right, and we will uh, let that sit for a couple minutes before we eat it. Now it's time to feast. Got some root beer, got the tartar sauce. It has been a minute and I am starving. All right, let's just taste how this is, I guess. Um, I already know the shrimp is good because I've already had a couple pieces while I was waiting, but. Mmm. Mmm. Let's just see how the salmon is. Still very flaky. Mmm. Quite easy to make. Mm -hmm. oh. Rubier's great too. Squirts out kind of weird. Oh god. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Delicious. I didn't need a lot of time or cooking or preparation even. And even with my level one cooking skills, I was able to whip this up. No problem. Oh, Barry. That's just Barry. He loves to cry all the time. What would I have done differently? Um, I probably would have salted the shrimp less. It's already kind of salty to begin with. So I don't think I needed so much salt as I, as I did. But it still came out really well either way. And it would definitely have made half this portion. <laughs> oh, this meal turned out really good. Yeah, not much else to say, I guess. Um, I am just satisfied now. A lot of meat on this. Now, just following the RuneScape recipe, it's just shrimp and salmon. But if I were to add more things, maybe like a rice pilaf or something. Uh, let's see what else. Maybe some asparagus to go with the salmon. Look, Jack's right here. Look at him. Look at that chungus. Come here, Jack. He's looking at it. I'm gonna leave it on the table for him. And now Ben's here too. Uh, <laughs> so I played RuneScape as a kid, and I was never able to get into the members world just because, you know, it costs money and stuff. But I do have a particular friend 
that has been a member like all his life. And I was talking to him and he said he was gonna show me some of the member stuff. And I know there's a lot more recipes and cooking stuff in the member side, so I'm hoping to kind of get in there and, I don't know, learning more recipes to show everybody here. But yeah, I hope you liked this video. I know it's kind of impromptu, but I really do hope to make more of these in the future. The recipe and all that stuff will be listed in the description below. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. <laughs> comment down below if you have any questions. I uh, reply to basically every comment that I get. And again, my name is Frontier Setter, and always remember, say tactically, kawaii. <sighs> you get the you get the idea. Look at him. Look at that chungus. Well, at least at least he approves of my cooking. <laughs> Bye, guys.